Hi, and welcome to another episode of UTD Scuba Diving TV. This episode is all about the new side mount configuration of UTD. So let's talk a little bit of side mount. Um, as you know, all of our platforms we use in our uh, curriculum, it be there it uh, back mount single tank, back mount doubles, rebreather, side mount, it's all based on the same DIR philosophy. So when we decided to take side mount into our um, fold, we wanted a system that was compatible with our total DIR philosophy and compatible with our covenants. Meaning we can always donate a long hose, we don't have to switch second stages under the water, uh, and we wanted the compatibility with back mount and a similarity with back mount when it comes to emergency procedures so that you, the diver, can switch between platforms whenever the need calls for it because we see all our diving platforms as tools to get a certain job done. Yeah, the rebreather for deeper or cave diving makes sense because you can conserve a lot of gas. Side mount for narrow passages or traveling is fantastic. Uh, back mount for ease of use because you, know, you can use the real estate and all that sort of stuff. But we don't want to have a different procedure for every different platform. Like I'm diving this way, then I use these procedures and I'm diving that way, then I use that procedure. And if there's two people in the same team that dive on different platforms, they might risk having two procedures in the same team, which is, yeah, just a potential recipe for disaster. So mixed team diving, as we call it, we like to keep it all the same so that people know where they go for emergent, in an emergency and how to deal with those scenarios. Now... How do we do that? Now, in the past, we had a distribution block um, like this, which mimicked the, uh, the back mount um, open circuit system we all know and love. And it's basically um, the same here. As you can see, it was a distribution block that was isolatable through this isolator, a uh, similar way to you know it from a pair of doubles. And it had two feeding hoses. Uh, one on the right side with a QC6 and one on the left side with a QC6. They got fed by the cylinder and the cylinder had a, a simple first stage with an SPG, basically just like a stage regulator setup, but instead of in the second stage, there was the male QC6 on that and that got plugged in. As soon as that was plugged in, everything worked. Um, so that gave us a couple of advantages. A, we could dive single tank side mount because um, all the hoses would be distributed, all the gas would be distributed in this block. And even though it was fed by only one cylinder, everything would work. Now, the second advantage it gave us is that we can now isolate between the left and right side. This is low pressure, obviously, but because it was isolatable we could keep the same procedures in place for the most part so if i were to draw a line down the middle of this manifold you could see there's a right side and a left side on the right side we'd have our long hose um, and our bc inflator hose which would be routed to the bc and on the left side we'd have our dry suit hose if needed and our necklace regulator would be routed by back behind the head and then over the right shoulder as per normal. And now you can see that as soon as you isolate between those two, you've isolated left from right. So if there was a failure on the right side, you could isolate that side and keep diving on the left side, basically the same as in back mount diving. However, this did require this proprietary piece of equipment, the, the manifold, um, which was made by UTD equipment and it, it also required a special adapter plate for these two screw holes and certain wings had a hard time accommodating this setup. So as you know UTD scuba diving and UTD equipment have gone their separate ways to focus each and themselves on their own uh, core business and in our case it's education. So I wanted to create a system that kept the same values in place uh, without the need for proprietary equipment. I wanted off-the-shelf equipment that, that was available everywhere over the world um, without the need for special tools or special uh, deliveries. So what we came up with is a system that I'm going to show you now. 
So basically what we've done is I've created a system with over the shelf parts. These are two uh, four way ports, three low pressure ports on the top and one on the bottom. And um, we place these on either side of the front of the diver. Now, now you have two distribution blocks. The one on the right side has a, a shutoff, which basically is gonna uh, serve the function as the isolator. And then we'll connect the left side with the right side through a normal low pressure hose going over the shoulder behind the back from the left to the right side. Now, then we have the other ports on these two uh, manifolds, these two blocks, one for the long hose that's gonna come over the shoulder and normally as you would normally route it, and one for the um, wing that will go over the shoulder to the wing. Uh, so that's this side. The other hose is the connecting hose, the manifold hose, if you like. Then on the left-hand side, we'd have the two ports, one for the necklace going over the shoulder as it normally goes, and one for the dry suit if that's in use. These two 15 centimeter uh, long, uh, short, low pressure hoses, uh, they're very long and short, uh, go above the shoulder so that the D-ring is in the middle. Basically the block is above the D-ring and then the QC sticks underneath the D-ring. This gives you a little bit more of playroom to attach the uh, male QC6 underwater or on the surface uh, and makes it a bit more streamlined. So anything else is, is the same. So basically all you need to get this system going is two of these blocks that can accommodate the hose. So you need an adapter as well. Um, the QC6s are the same and you'd need uh, a shutoff valve. Uh, and we use this one from OmniSwivel. It's a reversible uh, uh, shutoff valve, super simple and super reliable. And then everything else stays exactly the same. The hose lengths and the way to set it up, the way to build it step by step is very detailed uh, described in our materials. So if you're interested in building your own set, you can go on to our website and uh, purchase the UTD side mount materials. All the materials in there uh, will also cover the manifold you've just seen, because we're still supporting that system. There's many divers, including myself, that have one of those and dive with it. Uh, this is just an addition to um, whatever else is out there. All the emergency procedures stay the same, all the gas switching, valve drills, all that sort of stuff stays exactly the same with one minor difference in that as soon as you need to isolate between the two, you can now isolate on the right side using the shutoff. That's the only difference, basically. Uh, an advantage, uh, some might say, is that all the connections of all the hoses are moved away from the back and are now in front of the diver for the diver themselves to be able to see and inspect in case something is wrong. A very unlikely because all these hoses that get connected are what we call static hoses because once they're in place they're in place they're not being pulled on or jagged on or something like that um, so the chances of them of the o-rings going bad is very very slim and if there is some small leakages they will be caught in the uh, bubble check in the beginning of the dive anyway let's put this set together and then you can see what it looks like um, completely built up all right, so now everything is attached to this wing. Uh, as you can see, all looks nice and tidy. No connections behind the shoulder. Just these three hoses uh, crossing from left to right. Let me put it on and see what it looks like when you're wearing it. So now everything is connected and everything is fitted off. I mean, this harness is not really to my size, but hey, it can all be as short as I am. <laughs> so, um, but as you can see now, it's clean. It's the normal setup, like a long hose that's coming over the right hand that can be donatable, uh, completely the same length as a pair of doubles. We have the necklace in place here, coming from the left side here, as it normally would come from the left post. And all the hoses here are in sight and ex accessible for the diver. The QCs are sticking just below the D-ring, which is still quite accessible for stages and whatever. And everything else is as we know it. Now you can see the shutoff, which is now functioned as the isolator, is on the right side or away from stage handling where you might accidentally shut it off. And again, it's pushing it down towards the gas source 
to shut it off and with the gas source into the system to shut it to turn it on uh, so that's what you need to keep in mind um, super easy check obviously in the flow check and in the materials you'll all learn this uh, so have a look at those if you're interested so that's uh, the whole gist of the new system over-the-counter parts um, accessible and um, available almost globally um, we've used parts from Omniswivel but there's other manufacturers who make these uh, distribution blocks or splitters or whatever they call them adapters are also generic uh, adapters because they're all the same size hoses uh, or same diameter hoses they use so um, a little final side note before you go tinkering around equipment setup and equipment configuration is one thing the training is what makes everything come together and really solidifies the knowledge and the usability of this system there's a bunch of, of um, uh, benefits to having this system as uh, for example gas switching in a technical scenario if you gas switch we gas switch um, to the left hand side where we're basically breathing off the right side and then when we've switched we turn off the right side and open up the decompression so you're basically decompressing on your long hose so that makes it easier it also makes it a lot more convenient in dealing with lost deco in a team scenario because now you can all of a sudden donate decompression gas as well uh, the same goes for stage switches uh, in cave scenarios where you need to plug in multiple stage bottles on your way in and on your way out so all these procedures will be taught in the course so uh, now you know what it looks like and you can go all and, and buy these things and go dive with it but i would strongly urge you to seek out one of our utd instructors and ask for the uh, side mount uh, essentials of side mount class where you go through all the ins and outs and the benefits of this system plus all the other stuff that's uh, available uh, in our essentials class if you already are a utd diver you can take the side mount mini which is a short class that basically ports over to using this system and your instructor will help you set it up and fine tune it so it's all perfect um, thanks for uh, taking the time to watch this video uh, i hope you all in uh, have enjoyed it and um, stay sharp and see you out there